Strawberry fields forever. Yeah. Another way to spend your day in Jamaica. This is Anato Bay. There's Robbins Bay right there. Somewhere around there. Yeah, it's really hard to see in the viewfinder. Yeah, I think that's Robbins Bay right there. Oh, by the way, before my next video, that lady I'm having dinner with tonight, that 21-year-old lady, she's never seen a white man before. She's never talking to a white man before. So I thought that was kind of funny, man. It was a good laugh. Yep, use the first white man. <laughs> she goes, I live in the bushes. <laughs> so I'm gonna go up in the bushes where she lives at. I'll show you the video for sure. Oh, another thing. If you do visit Nato Bay, Robbins Bay, or Strawberry Field, or... There's a... Only one fax machine. It's at the library. I had to fax a letter yesterday. There's a internet coffee shop where they can... You got internet... Access, you can... You can uh, download anything you need to and they can print it out there but they don't have a fax machine so everything I've needed so far I have in an auto bay you know what I'd rather be here than Kingston any day of the week it's nice weather it's cool breezy the people here are friendly. Kind of expensive, but everywhere in Jamaica so far is the same price as anywhere you go at. Well, you know what? I take that back. If you go in some bars, <clears throat> they only charge you like 180 Jamaican dollars for a beer. Compared to the other bars, which all the bars charge 200 Jamaican dollars anywhere you go at that's what you're gonna pay for a beer but I've been to all the bars here I have I have I go drink in every bar I want to get to know everybody there's not that many bars so it's pretty easy to go do <laughs> Well, I'll take that back. I haven't gone to all the bars because there's a, there's a couple bars where there's just too many people in the bar. And I know that I would end up having to buy someone a beer, then somebody else a beer, and somebody else a beer, and somebody else a beer. So I choose the bars, and trust me, if I go in the bar, somebody's asking me to buy them a drink. It doesn't matter what bar, you expect that, everybody. You're going to have that happen to you. So I try to pick a bar out that there's just only the bartender there. Sit down, relax, get to know that bartender, drink a beer, and then go to the next bar. Sit down, drink a beer, go to the next bar. 
I've done it all the way down this coastline, believe it or not. <laughs> and every bar along the Anato Bay I've been at had a beer. Why not? You should do too. <laughs> See, I like sharing my wealth to everybody, not just to one person, also. So when I go grocery shopping, I go from one store to another store to another store. I've done that in Mexico, I'll do it here. It's respecting everybody. Plus, they get to know you for who you are in life. I guess they're laying out their net. Yeah, they are laying out their net right now. Sorry, I was looking at them instead of the video. I think net fishing should be outlawed. I heard in a couple of nations they have outlawed net fishing. I thought it was in parts of Jamaica. No, you know what? They're bringing in the line. Oh, they are. Hey, there it is, a fish. They're bringing in the line. The reason why it should be outlawed is because the nets get hung up and a fisherman just leave the nets there. A whale come by, shark come by, anything big comes by and gets tangled up in it, it's dead. It's dead. It's a death trap. It's the reason why a lot of seas here in the Caribbean has gone, a lot of seas gone extinct. Because of the way they're fishing. Like that. Well. Next video. Is where I'm going to be partying all day and all night long. Probably until the sun rises too. I hope it's not. I'm gonna leave early. I got to get home somehow.